Hey MySQL learners, so welcome back to this new section of my MySQL tutorial. So in this video or in this section, we're going to talk about locks. So what are these locks, right? So let's actually approach this kind of like logically. So if you have a database and if you are the only person working in this database, then you basically need not worry about anything, right? You know what you are doing so you will insert data delete update data uh, the way you want and there is no one else trying to intervene or interrupt your work but unfortunately that's not the case in today's world if you think of uh, a busy e-commerce database like Amazon then then there's like a lot going on on the on those websites there's like multiple people browsing, there's like a lot of people buying stuff, uh, there's the people who are selling stuff on, on these websites, they're updating data relevant to their products. So that is basically concurrency, right? So you have many users trying to do something on this website at the same time. So how do you manage this concurrency? That's why we need locks so if i let everyone work on the same data at the same time then there's going to be a lot of confusion and we might end up losing some data so let me actually show you a simple example of how that happens so i have a table a product table so if you've been following my tutorial thus far uh, we talked about this table called products so where we store all the product information right so now there's a couple of records over here and let's say that we have a seller and a buyer who are working on these records especially like this particular record the first one which is a book and the book's price is this and the quantity I think we didn't have quantity when we talked about it in my previous sections um, but then I added quantity here so there's this quantity column and there's a there's a seller and buying buyer interested in this record let's look at this right so we have sort of like a time sequence here so what the seller of this particular product is trying to do is he's trying to update the quantity of this product at 9 1 he is adding 60 more quantity to that product which is you know 40 plus 60 which 100 and that's what we have over here so then a buyer comes and he looks at the quantity and then he basically wants to order two of these books that's 100 minus 90 uh, 100 minus 2 that's 98 and then you have the quantity 98 over here so this happened in a sequence so but we are worried about concurrency right concurrency is like when things happen at the same time but what if okay first the seller comes and then he reads the quantity of this item initially it was 40 and then buyer comes and he also sees that the quantity is 40 right and at 901 so the first two operations happen at the same time at 901 seller comes and he says i want to update uh, i want to add 60 more uh, quantity like meaning i have 60 more books of this title but then buyer comes and he says, okay, I'm buying two items, uh, two of these books. So, but the value that he saw before was 40. So 40 minus two is 38. So he updates the quantity to 38. So the seller updates it to 100, but then because of this previous lookup, the quantity is updated to 38 due to which this whole thing this whole operation is lost and we end up with 
sort of like corrupted data for this quantity column. So this is a simple example of how concurrency when not managed well might cause uh, issue data issues like this.